I want to do more. I want more. I want more for myself, my family, my mother, and I want to be in charge of my own destiny. If you're not willing to take a chance on you, if you're not willing to learn something and reach beyond your confidence zone so that you can explore some other possibilities for yourself, you'd never discover the greatness that you have within yourself to do more, to have more, and to experience more. You know what I'm doing? I'm speaking to corporations, I'm speaking to organizations, I'm speaking to different groups of people who want to be motivated and inspired. I teach people how to use this computer to bring their personality through their passion and their energy through to create a significant emotional event. I couldn't see the people that I was talking to, and you do it after a certain period of time. You develop some skills intuitively that you know when you're connecting with people. That has given me a competitive edge, being in radio for so many years. That's why I'm successful at this, and one of the top impactful speakers doing this because of my background. Do something beyond your comfort zone. Learn something new so you can see what's in you. And I was going, seeing these people speaking everywhere, and I said, I'm going to put myself to the test. So part of the whole process, because I was listening to motivational messages on a regular basis, and I was getting fired up, and one of the things that I do, and I encourage my kids to do when I make some money, I operate like I don't have a dime, like I don't have a time. I start working harder, and this is what you have to do. The people that are going to be successful are willing to do the things today. Others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. So learn something new. If you're not willing to learn anything new, no one can help you. But if you're willing to learn something new, like I decided to do this, no one can stop you. I'm my own boss. I called my own shot. I'll train you how to do that, how to use your voice, how to use your gift of gab, how to use your knowledge and your skills. Be your own boss. That's what time it is. Here's something else. Don't do this if you're not hungry. Yes, if you're not hungry, the people that are going to come out on top, the people that will snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, they're hungry. People that are hungry are the first ones there and the last ones to leave. Most people not hungry. Most people are conditioned to do just enough to keep from getting fired, working in an environment where they... When I worked for Vovico, I was a program director, news director, and manager of station operations. I did commercials, editorials, and a talk show the voice of the people. A whole lot of stuff that they didn't pay me. I wanted to make myself more valuable and increase my worth for the operation. You have to have that kind of attitude about life. Are you increasing your value every day? If you were on the stock market, would you invest in you? Most people have to say no. They're not reading anything new. They're not learning anything. They're operating within their comfort zone and praying every day that they don't lose the job they hate. It's a different place now. You've got to be hungry. Leaning average is open doing just enough to get by. Today, employers are looking for eagles. You might see some pigeons outside, but it's going to take a minute to see some eagles because they fly high. When you look at yourself, your goals, your dreams, this time demands that you get outside of your comfort zone. That's what I was willing to do. People who are not successful have large television screens, and people who are successful have large libraries. People who are hungry are willing to discipline themselves. They're willing to dedicate themselves to learning something different. Anything can be mastered if you're willing to put in the time, put in the effort, and focus yourself on learning how to make yourself stand out in the attention economy. So you have to think in terms of market takeaway. What value are you bringing that's superior to everybody else? You've got to set a new standard. It's necessary for us to begin to look at the future, know that it's possible that we can achieve our dreams. Other people have done it, then we can do it. It's necessary we get negative do nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning, growing, and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up, and we know it's hard. It's not going to be a picnic. And once we do it hard and go through it, we realize it was worth it. We've all had experiences where we were working on something and knew it was possible. You attacked, criticized, people opposed you, but you kept on doing it. And eventually, you got to a level where you knew nothing could stop you. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. As you look into the future. Well, other people are giving up, feeling like victims, feeling powerless, becoming negative, turning on each other rather than to each other, feeling that they can't make it. Do not conform to this world. It's possible that we can create new industries, a new economy. It's possible that I can find a new profession, a new job. It's possible I can create a new life. I become actively involved in becoming a positive force in my life and on the planet. Most people are not living. They're existing. And the reason that this is not for everybody, this is for people who say, I don't want to exist. 
The truth is, when you come, your life will be changed. When you come, we will allow you to come into your environment where you will have social distancing from the negative, toxic people who don't have goals, who don't have dreams, who are voluntary victims. So you can make room for the greatness that you have within you to live the life that you've chosen to live. First, you have focus, yes. Then you have faith, yes. And then you have follow through. See, I believe that if you could turn on the radio and learn how to be a thug, you should be able to turn on the radio and learn how to be a thinker. Okay, let's practice again. Follow your heart, follow your heart. Okay, follow your heart, follow your heart. All right, good. Even if no one's behind you, follow your heart. Just let the spirit guide you. Follow your heart, follow your heart. Even if no one's behind you, follow your heart. Just let the spirit guide you. Focus on your dream. Focus on where you're going, not where you are. Focus on the type of relationships that are going to help you to grow and expand. And don't get stuck in a rut. Focus happens and is truly ignited when you have faith and follow your heart. There will be disappointments. You're going to have setbacks. You will fail your way to success. People will reject you. People will disappoint you. People will talk about you. But when you follow your heart, there's a difference. When you work on a job and when you work on a job, that's what you get paid for. Yes, all of your heart, because there your treasure is. Also, follow your heart because you were made for greatness. You were born to win. You are a masterpiece because you're a piece of the master. And after trying and failing again and again and again, pretty soon I found my confidence. I said, well, I need to speak to some people that can't see my nervousness. So I spoke to elementary kids, kids in elementary school, kindergarten, and they didn't know enough to know whether or not I knew what I was talking about. And I grew from there. I just kept on talking and going back to my coach and continuing to sharpen the socks. I continued to get the coaching I needed to improve my presentation skills and how I can use quotes, statistics, humor, energy, and passion, and the rhythm to speak. Most people, they are where they are now because they don't know that they don't know, and they think they know and they refuse to be coached. They're not willing to face the reality that their best thinking has produced the life that they now have. If they could have made more money, they would have done it. If they could have had a greater impact, they would have done it. You never find out how much you know until you find out how little you know. This is the time you've got to be a perpetual learner, the perpetual learner. Put yourself in a community where you can grow, where you can learn, where you have relationships with people that have resources and contacts that you don't have so you can learn from them. Come out from among people that don't have anything and don't want anything. Come out from among people that are argumentative and always creating some kind of drama. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be peaceful. You deserve to have the best that life has to offer. Take responsibility for the kind of life that you want. You can't do all the thinking. You need to be in a community of people that's got your back. You were designed for greatness. All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Always try to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. If you look at yourself and look at your goals and look at your dreams, here's what I know. You have to really program your mind for success. And I can say to you that as you take the time, take the time every day. Even if you didn't do anything but one hour a day, listen to things to build your spirit up. Listen to things to fortify your faith. Listen to things that will cause your mind to grow and to expand. Based upon my own experience, you have things that you can do that you don't even realize now. Listen, this is not for everybody. You want to use your time living the kind of life that's your time, perfecting your skill and your passion to stand out as an expert. Use your time to operate from that consciousness of Henry David Thoreau who said, do not go where the path may lead. Go where there is no path and leave a trail. If you maximize your time, if you just decide, I'm going to find something that I would enjoy doing, and then I'm going to carve out the time and have a schedule that I'm working on it every day. Nobody can touch you. There's no excuse today for not becoming successful, even if you've just lost your job. Even if you're going through foreclosure and an eviction, you can come back. You have no competition because the majority of the people throw their time away and have nothing to show for it. So do an evaluation of yourself. Ask yourself, as you look at 24 hours, how much time do you spend developing your mind? How much time do you spend learning a new skill? The economy has changed. 47 million jobs will be lost to artificial intelligence. The majority of money being made on the planet is being made virtually at home on a computer. And I'm encouraging you, get around people who are using their time productively because people rub off on you. As Miles Monroe said, when you know your purpose, that narrows how you use your time. How are you using your time? You have greatness in you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine if you're willing to put in the time with a coach. That's me up in here, up in here. 
if you're willing to put in the time to learn how you can use your voice, to learn how you can use your story. And the time is now. Don't put it off. Don't take it for granted. You've got more in you. Be willing to learn something new. Be willing to put in the time and the effort to acquire new skills so that you'll be in charge of your financial future. Things about the bottom are about to fall out of this economy. The people that are going to come out on top are the people that would put in the time and effort to learn something new, to get the coaching that they need, to get to save them time. You always want to do things that can save you time if that's who you are. If you want to save some time learning how you can use your story, your knowledge, and take advantage of this attention economy, if you're serious, I only want to work with people that are serious, that are hungry because I was hungry. I'm just not mentally fit to work for somebody for the rest of my life. That's just not me. You are here to live life on your terms. If you believe that, then live like that. Live from a place of power because that's who you are. You got it like that.